Warning: Always wear proper personal protective equipment when operating Appian products. Ensure your Appian charging tees and flare adapter fittings operate at peak performance with these proper use tips. Failure to follow these steps could result in excessive refrigerant loss and injury. Check the gasket condition and ensure that the gasket is fully seated in the swivel fitting connector. If the gasket isn't fully seated, use the blunt end of a ballpoint pen to fully seat it. Damaged or degraded gaskets should always be replaced before service. Next, check the core depressor height. Appion's charging tees and flare adapter fittings have adjustable core depressors. These core depressors have helical barbs as opposed to standard straight barbs. The advantage of this barb pattern is that it's much easier to adjust the depth of the core depressor. Use a pair of needle nose pliers to turn the depressor counterclockwise to set it further out of the gasket. Turn the depressor clockwise to set it deeper in the gasket. It's important to always set the core depressor as deep as possible, then slowly and incrementally adjust the depressor until it begins to make contact with the valve core. This will ensure that the valve core isn't over depressed or depressed prior to the gasket making contact with the system port. Again, failure to check the gasket condition and core depressor height could result in excessive refrigerant loss and injury. When connecting the tool to the system or connecting additional tools to the charging T access ports, Always start by adding a drop of clean vacuum pump oil to the port sealing surface and hand tighten the swivel fitting. Never use the tool body, another tool, or an attached accessory to tighten the swivel fitting. Over tightening can damage the rubber gasket and or the threads on the service port fitting or tool. For any questions about charging tees and flare adapter fittings, please contact Appian directly.